So in the first phase of the career success story, uh, we want to think about exploration. And this is the stage where students are able to think about their values, their personality, any skills they may have, and how they can implement that in their search. We can collaborate with the faculty to help their students in the explore stage by partnering up to do things such as presentations where we talk about what students can do with their majors, by talking about career assessments, things of that nature, uh, where we look at the strong interest inventory or the Myers-Briggs type indicator, really anything we can do to help students stake their claim. Experience is a very important uh, chapter in the su career success story. Faculty are out there imparting knowledge and giving uh, students opportunities to uh, learn about their areas of expertise. The Career Center, hosting over 2,000 internships uh, a year, uh, gives students an opportunity to put that the skill sets into practice and uh, gain uh, experience that employers are looking for. And we can also work together to bring uh, employers to campus for things like information sessions, office hours, um, on-campus recruitment, and we also offer a company truck program where we can take students to different sites off campus. The decide phase is really around empowering students to gain that knowledge necessary to really pinpoint potential career fits for them. With faculty, we can uh, encourage their students to come into the Career Center, meet with their career advisors to really narrow down their options. Uh, they can identify five potential employers uh, and then actually uh, go and meet with those employers to determine to see if that's a good career fit for them. We have a great outcomes portal on our website that shows actual proof of the career decisions that students have made. You can take a look at this first destination survey data and actually see where they've gone in their careers and what uh, career paths they're, they're taking throughout their lives. Brand is your professional image that articulates your values and your career objectives. What you'll want to do to help create that brand is you'll want to start with setting up a LinkedIn profile and then also keeping in mind you want to make that brand consistent throughout all of your social media sites. The resume and the cover letter are also important pieces of the brand, so to gain some assistance with writing those, come to the Career Center during drop-in hours and we'll be able to help you out. You'll also want to think about setting up an elevator pitch, and this is going to be a 30 to 60 second pitch explaining who you are, what you're looking for, and then what you bring to the table. And then you'll also want to think about professional attire. This is another big piece of brand. Um, and so you'll always want to make sure that you're dressing to impress. Talking about is not just understanding that I have a good looking resume or I know how to do mock interviews, but it's an opportunity for us to help them understand how do I translate what I've learned in my classes at this university towards the next stage, whether it's a job, graduate school, or starting your own business. And for faculty, what we can do is, is come into the classroom and do the practice mock interviews. We can talk to students about what does it mean to be a history major, what does it mean to be a psychology major, and how do I explain those types of skills and competencies to employers from a variety of industries and sectors.